Come on, you can do it. Yeah! In today's video, we're going to test if it is possible to turn eggshells rubbery by coating them in toothpaste for 24 hours. Callie, I've sent you a couple videos on Instagram of Have. that people sent me first, uh, or they really sent them to us. They sent them to the king of random Instagram. A couple different ones came in at different times, and I feel like one of them we may have even tested at some point. Here's the basic idea. Following a couple viral videos on Instagram that we've seen, we're going to test out a couple methods for turning eggs into rubber. We're going to be using toothpaste, Sprite, and Skittles to let them sit and see the change. So the first one involves an egg in a cup with some Sprite and some red Skittles. Yeah, they okay, I remember the red this ones. one. And you then cover it and you let it sit for 24 hours and the result was like this rubbery egg with a, a red, red yolk. yolk. Yeah. The other one involved taking an egg, covering it in some toothpaste, and I did my best to buy the same brand. It was like <laughs> the Crest Complete with the Scope Outlast. That was the type of toothpaste used in the video, so mm -hmm. following it as close as possible. I think they have changed the packaging of the box since then, but I believe it's going to be the same. And we're going to try and cover the egg in the toothpaste the same way they did, let it sit for 24 hours, and see if it turns rubbery. Okay, I like it. So first thing, let's get some Skittles and some Sprite. All right, so now we put the egg in there, and then we're gonna have to cover it. So this isn't gonna be an instantaneous thing. We're gonna nope, have to come nope. back. Overnight. That's the way the first test goes. Supposedly in 24 hours, we're going to have a clear membrane on an egg with a red yolk visible. All right, what's our next one? Next, we take an egg. Okay. And we take some of our Crest Complete. With scope. With scope outlast mm -hmm. toothpaste. And after some toothpaste is applied to the outside of the egg, we then used a toothbrush, because it has to be a toothbrush because it's toothpaste, mm -hmm. and they coated the whole egg. Okay, we'll also come back to that in 24 hours. All right, it's been 24 hours. What do you think? Hoping we have a good rubbery egg. Which one do you want to check first? Do you want to try the Skittles one, or do you want to try the rubbery egg? Let's do the rubbery egg first. Okay. This one was covered in toothpaste. Your toothpaste for 24 hours. Let's see what's happened. What? All right, this looks different. What? We'll wash this off. What? Oh, it feels squishy. Feel squishy. No. All right, we've got a clear squishy egg. What have you got in yours? What? What did you no. get from the sprite? All right, let's see. So this should be clear, and it should have a red yolk. Let's see. <laughs> well, if by red yolk you mean the yolks decided to multiply into bouncy balls yeah. inside a rubber balloon. Look what it turned into! It turned Woo! into bouncy balls! Amazing! Oh, and look how stretchy and squishy this is! Wah! Do any of you still believe us when we do this? If you've ever ever see a video showing how to make an egg and it ends up like this, it was faked. They got one of these little rubber toys. If it ends up just slightly rubbery and slightly squishy, but then breaks open, it means it was soaked in vinegar or another similar acid. Also, another good key is the fact that the yolk massively changes size. And how about the fact that there's a plug on it? <laughs> well, you know, camera angles. Yeah. Let's take a look at the real reveal of these. All right, guys. We already know that the experiments behind us aren't going to do anything. We've made rubbery eggs before. Callie's done multiple videos that showed them and played with them, and she showed like how you can actually use toothpaste to prevent eggs from turning rubbery when you soak them in vinegar true. for 24 I dissolved to 48 hours. Parts of the egg and any part where the eggshell was touching toothpaste, it actually didn't dissolve. So it's the opposite of what that video is telling you. Now I guess Sprite might have enough acid in it to eventually start wearing the shell down a little, but Maybe. the way vinegar takes like a day or two to get it all the way rubbery, yep. and it's and it's not this kind of rubbery. No. It's like slightly flexible, there's, you can see through it a little bit rubbery. There's that this point is, in the video where it looks like he pours one of these down into the, into the container and then pulls it out and then starts doing this with it. No, no, egg membranes don't do that. That's not, they're not that strong. If you were to drop it from this high, an actual egg membrane is going to break. In fact, we're probably going to show you that in a couple of days when we pull these failed experiments out. All right, eggs in a vacuum chamber. Fake eggs in a vacuum chamber. <laughs> and seal. 
You can see the air bubbles in the clear eggs mm -hmm. are definitely expanding. I assume it's happening in the white eggs too, you just can't see it as well. And it's going real fast now. Yep. Oh, and look, the yolk is bubbling up. Imperfections. Oh. Whoa! Oh! We hit critical mass. What even? I think the water began to vaporize, and so now we're getting all of the water that turned into vapor is also expanding along with the air. That is went it gonna really quick. Maybe. Me. But that went just so quickly. Oh, I think our other ones hit that there point. There it goes. <laughs> I was I not was expecting gonna, that. No, 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 no. I thought it was going to maybe double in size, not times 20. That's so bizarre. And the fact that there's air in the yolk yeah. enough to do that, I didn't see that coming at all either. Uh -uh. Is the white one just not expanding as much, or did the clear one just take up too much room? I'm not sure. Our vacuum That's... chamber's struggling. Also, that meter is no longer quite calibrated. That's fair. So it's... That's about as far as it gets, I think, most of the time. Yeah. It's all still inside. This hasn't popped, and so all of the water is, like, bubbling inside the egg's membrane. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see it in the white one as well. Not nearly as much, but from my angle, I can see enough light coming through it that I can see the water doing the same thing. Well... I think we should let the pressure back in. Yep. And... <laughs> oh no! That stretched to the max egg, like stuck wow. all over the glass, and now do it's just having to... Do you think it's gonna go back to its normal shape? I do, actually. I think it's gonna return. Oh, it sticks really good to glass. Something it's okay. <laughs> yep, it did permanently deform a go. little bit. You can see like that crease going across it. This one still held its shape a little bit better than the other one did. It's a little bit deformed, but not nearly as bad as the clear. <laughs> Squishy egg versus liquid nitrogen. Yeah, it's down there. I just heard something. Ha! Half an ice cube. Very, very cold. Oh! <laughs> You it broke it. Well, I made egg slushy. You did. All right, let's see what this one turned out like. Oh! Wow. So the rubber is no longer flexible, and then the ice expanded because uh -huh. it froze. Sure did. And it all shattered apart. I am curious if any of this rubber is going to go back. It is still a little bit sticky. But yeah, see that? You've got that expanded air bubble right in the center there, and you can see concentric rings as it breaks open. All right, here's the real <laughs> reveal. Of our, our eggs. So if you. Is anybody shocked though? Really? If you recall, regular egg covered in toothpaste, mm -hmm. regular egg in Sprite and Skittles. Both soaking full 24 hours. Shall Let's we? give them a look. Seems you about have red right. Sprite. I do have red Sprite. Now I am curious on yours because Sprite does have like some citric acid a in it and a bit. little bit of acid over time could do a little bit to the shell. All right, a little, maybe. Basically what we got is the weirdest way to dye an Easter egg ever. But at least it's Skittles flavored. All right, here is regular egg covered in toothpaste. In the original video, it like, they, they like <laughs> poured it out, I think. And it, and it was and just this rubber. Rubber, it still had toothpaste on it, but they just, yeah, it was rubbery instantly, mm -hmm. obviously. This so far appears to be a very normal egg. It's actually probably stronger now. Maybe a it little might have bit. absorbed. Maybe the fluoride in the toothpaste actually strengthened the calcium of the shell. So let's talk about these for a second, guys. I have done videos in the past where I have put eggs in vinegar, but I've also covered parts of them with toothpaste. And if you recall, those eggs, the places where the toothpaste were or whatever I had used to coat the egg, that was the area where the eggs stayed solid. In fact, if I remember correctly, the egg that was in toothpaste and vinegar, the toothpaste dissolved, but the egg itself, even in vinegar, stayed intact. That's because eggshells are made out of calcium carbonate, which is similar to what your teeth are made out of, and toothpaste isn't gonna make them dissolve. That would be the opposite of what it does. As far as Sprite and Skittles go, you just soaked it in sugar for a really long time. Yeah, this egg's probably not happy about what we've done, but there wasn't enough acidic anything in it to have eaten through the eggshell itself. This isn't how you make rubber eggs. The eggs that they're showing you in the video, they're toys. You can get these as toys, they're fun, they're really funny to stick to your ceiling. But other than that, that's about all they're good for. So if you want a rubber egg toy, you can buy them. That's not a problem. If you're trying to make rubbery sorts of eggs at home, all you have to do is take an egg, put it in some white vinegar overnight, and you're going to have that 
calcium carbonate shell dissolve and you'll have the membrane left. It is cool to see. You can't do it by putting things in Sprite or Skittles. There's not enough sugar or acids to dissolve the outside of that shell. Cool concept, kind of? No, it's fake. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see, and if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that button down below to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. See you in the next one.